Hello guys, Trey Face Section Round here today, tonight, not this morning yet. And let's trade your story time. AKA fan. Shut up TV, no one loves you. Story time. Check page 600. This will be in the description below. It's a Harry Potter fanfic. Harry walked away smirking as he knew Draco wanted him. In the worst way, he had just told Draco exactly where he put his wand. They agreed to meet at 6 in the room of requirements. It worked because they both required the same thing, and when time come, they would come to... Oh my god. It's already graphic. Harry still could remember the sweet, bitter taste of Draco's large member. <laughs> Boy! Large... Where, where was I? Large member knowing that his back door would be soon destroyed. <laughs> Harry had so much time to waste, he knew exactly what to do with it. He snuck in the Gryffindor common room to get some tissues. And with the help of his loving magazines and some erotic music, he set off into the afternoon. <laughs> My face wide as all get out in this. So, me on Saturday night. I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh my god. What? Why am I? Stop doing it on my camera, you suck! At 5.30, he made sure he was ready for him. And Draco's date. He made sure to wear as little clothing as possible as it would be easier to take them off again. At the thought of what would happen tonight, his memory began to rise. He loomed up and repeated the movements as he had just done a few hours ago. Oh my god. Time arrived for him to meet his lover, knowing that Harry and Draco couldn't get caught with the forbidden love. Harry couldn't think of anyone else to any other than his sexy Slytherin bad boy mouth Roy. I don't know how to say that name, dude. These are like Harry Potter. Stop zooming on my face! At last, the room requirement was open for his needs. It was already equipped for his needs. There was a swirl, there was a swing in the middle of the room, and the walls were adorned and dried in white stains, and there was a lot of ribbed latex to be found. A display display cabinet was situated by the swing in a proud manner. Inside were a, sw a set of twin. Wi These guys are some kinky crap. Set of uh, the cores of the whips were both dragon heart strings, and were connected. And when they connected, sparks flew. There was a knock at the door when Harry. Which in Harry's ear described as sexual wanting. The door swung open and walked in Dumbledore. Harry's jaw dropped, dropped open. I seem to have wrong. I seem to have the wrong room. Sorry, Harry. Dumbledore said he he walked well rushed off. Uh, camera, stop. Zoom out. Zoom out. There we go. Okay. Harry swore he'd seen the big bulge in Professor's pants, obviously aroused by what was soon going to take place in the room. What? The door rung again. This time, Harry recognized the bell as sexual tension. Mouth boy, free boy, walked in the room with sexy swagger. Hey, you, his husky voice. Aroused Harry even more. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so now you told what you wanted. How how about we try it out? <laughs> Malfrey didn't waste his time getting to the point. Demands Harry replied, "Do you have a wicker form, Louis? Your I'm gonna rethink my life after this." Your penis or 
Don't worry with the size of your six inch rocket. <laughs> This is making me retake my life already. Six inch rocket with those beast of dragon hearts. I'll be in hard in no time. Or how about I blow your what? I swear I can't continue this. Harry inch closer and closer to Malfrey. He could hear Draco's breath getting faster. He ran his hand through Draco's hair, smelling the sweet taste of butterbeer. His lips inch closer to Draco, and when they connected, sparks flew. All right. That's the end, because I'm not signing up to read this crap. See, I don't know if you can see it. See it? Because sign in to read the rest, and the rest is blurry. Can I? Nope. Anyways, guys, this has been Trey Face Sector and Hunter here with a faggot fan pick. <laughs> Why? If you guys like to see more, like it. And anyways, guys, this has been Trey Face Sector and Hunter. Remember, if you got to go, go. Peace, guys. Yeah.